Hey folks, it's Matt from Fractal Audio, and I'm here to show you a little something about the block library feature of Fractal Audio products. You may know about this already, and you may learn something even if you do, or this may be totally new to you. I'm happy to show it to you. So the block library is a way of saving and recalling your favorite settings for a certain block. Blocks are things like drive or amp or cab, and I have AxeEdit running here which we're going to use as an example, but this works the same in FM9 edit or FM3 edit as well. So to get us started, I created a few entries earlier in the drive block so I can show you how block library recall works. I click on my drive block and I notice in the editor that down in the lower left is an area called library. When I click on that, it shows me the saved items that I've created. So for example, I can click this one and instantly bring up my dialed in setting for the 7K drive. Or I can click a different one, for example, this Super Overdrive, and instantly get my settings for that. It's a great way to uh, save time and to create templates of the sound settings that you like, and also to share sound settings, which is what we're going to talk about next. So we've been doing this series called Gift of Tone. And as we go forward, some of the community members and artists are going to be sharing block library files. It's a great way for us to give their settings to you so that you can use them in your own presets. I have on my desktop uh, a folder called Gift of Tone Steve Vai. It's a great collection of blocks from Steve Vai's live rig and I'm going to talk to you about the, the ways that you can bring them into your fractal. And uh, Let's start by importing the entire folder. This is actually really easy. Just click on any block, come down to the library area, and choose Show Folder. And what that does is it shows you the folder that contains your block library. It's called Blocks. And I'm going to double click that to open it up. You can see I have some in there already. And I'm just going to copy the downloaded block library right in to that folder and close this. Now the next step is important or you won't see those entries. You come back to the library and you choose Refresh Library. And now, for example, since that included delay blocks, when I go to my delay library, we're going to find the various imported items. Like here's one called Vi Delay 2 to 3. And in fact, if I go to an empty location and right click or control click, and choose Library Recall, you'll see that there are other entries from what I just imported as well. Here's a, um, let's do a chorus. I'm just going to drag that over here. And there you have it. We imported the entire block library. Now, there's another way to bring these files in if you would like to audition them or just try them one by one. And that is very easy. You open up the downloaded directory. And you can just drag and drop individual files right into your presets. It doesn't add them to your library permanently, but it does let you check them out. So that's it. That's the block library. I hope you enjoy it. And I hope you enjoy the remainder of our Gift of Tone series. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.